Autumn Johnson here for NCAA Digital, and I'm joined by Florida's interim head coach, Kelly Ray Finley. And coach, man, January and early February has been a very successful run for your program. I mean, Florida has taken down five ranked teams already the first time since the 05-06 season. What do you attribute the shift in the program to? Oh, geez. Autumn, first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, re we really appreciate that. And um I'm just really proud of our, our team, their buy-in. I think that's probably the biggest thing that it can be attributed to, um, just in an overall selflessness and a desire to do uh, the next right thing and uh, be great, great teammates above everything else. And then, um, you know, whatever happens with the wins and losses, you know, that we, we, we can live with that, right? And um, I'm just really proud of this team. Absolutely. You know, as of this week, you all are ranked for the first time since 2016, but not only ranked, you jumped to number 19. When did you start to realize you all could make this type of noise this season? Um, well, I think we knew early on that we had a special group of young women. I think we have a really special group of people in general. Um, when we talk about our team, we're talking about you know, our staff and our student athletes combined. And when you have a selfless group of people who are willing to serve each other, uh, you have the opportunity for really, really powerful things to happen. And uh, I think that's what you guys are seeing happen on the court. What's it like coaching and competing in the SEC? I mean, I can only imagine it's a gauntlet every single night. And how did your time as an assistant coach prep you for it? It is, uh, you know, the SEC is one of the best leagues in the country for a reason. That's why you come to coach here. That's why you come to play in the league. I think, um, you know, to be the best, you have to beat the best. And so we welcome the opportunity and the challenge. And um, I, I do think that the greatest teacher are, are your experiences. And we talk about that a lot with our student athletes and try to help them connect the dots and um, I am confident that the experiences that I've had have been, made me better prepared for this moment uh, so that we can be the best that we can be. Who is possibly like a mentor that you've had throughout this time as you progress in your career? Um, Kathy Delaney Smith, you might know her. She's retiring this year from Harvard uh, after I believe it might be 41 seasons. Don't quote me on that, 40, I'm not sure. Um, but she just, she really taught me everything that's right about coaching. And I think a lot of people have inquired about, you know, where, where did you get your philosophies or things like that? I'm just a regular girl from Minnesota, always have been. <laughs> um, but Kathy has been really instrumental in um, teaching me about how to create a good experience, about honesty, um, about loving and caring for the people that you spend your days with. And uh, for that, I'm, I'm forever grateful to her. Yeah, I saw you were a volunteer assistant at Harvard during that time. So that's very inspiring to see where you are at today. And I would say Florida has an impressive resume this season, no doubt an NCAA tournament team. Um, what's been the response and possibly maybe the demeanor of your team as you all experience this type of success? Uh, steadiness with a little bit of celebration. You know, we want to make sure that we stay true to who we are um, because who we are is enough. And I think we've understood that from early on and really embraced that. But um, in finding the success and wins and losses, those games could have gone a lot of different ways. But our steadiness is that was something I think, think that sets us apart in our mentality. Um, and within that, you know, I want them to, to find joy and find happiness and, and celebrate the little things um, because a lot of teams work very, very hard and not everybody gets the opportunity to feel that success. Uh, and, and it's important that we embrace that, that we know that we've earned that uh, and that they're able to feel that success. Something that I've noticed that you've said um, a few times is that you're humble to be their coach. Describe what yeah. you mean by that and what this team means to you. Oh, I just love them. I love them with my whole heart. Um, it makes me a little emotional just because uh, when we set out to do this, we set out to create a positive experience for everybody in our program. And it's because of them and because of our staff um, that I am 
having a great positive experience as well. And I understand that that's not something that they have to do. It's something that they've chosen to do. Um, and I am humbled to be their coach. I think it's um, uh, one of the highest honors to be a mentor, um, to play a lot of different roles as a coach. And um, I'm just honored that they trust me in that way and they trust our staff in that way. And it makes it a heck of a lot more fun. <laughs> We can definitely see that bond for sure with you and your team. It is very special to see. But, you know, coach, you're young and you're on the rise in this space. First year as a head coach. What's something that fans don't know about you off the court? <laughs> oh, geez. OK, so I have um, I'm the oldest of four kids. I have um, my baby sister and I share the same birthday nine years apart. So that's kind of a fun fact. Um, but I think, you know, my family has made me who I am. Um, I have a sister that has special needs. She is the apple of all of our eyes. Um, she helps with the most wonderful perspective that you could ever want, right? And um, I think because of that, our team is different. I think because of that, the way that I see things is different and, um, and it's really important to never lose perspective of just how blessed we really are. I love it. Thank you so much, coach. This was awesome. And I'm looking forward to seeing and watching Florida make more noise this season. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Autumn. And we really appreciate your time.